focus now on the big question of why. Why has Senior Investigating Officer Mr Pat Murray not uh, contradicted anything the Justice for Aaron Brady campaign has said in relation, in particularly uh, to these two gentlemen here, uh, Christopher Morton and Daniel Cahill. Two men who we have admonished uh, continually over this last three years. We have called them liars, we have called them out on the false statements we have made, we've called them criminals, we've called them illegal immigrants, and we have said quite categorically and quite clearly that they give false statements to protect their own lives in New York. So we're going to continue asking this question and if we put it uh, to anyone watching this video, if your friend, um, a member of your family, someone you worked with, someone um, you played a sport with and were uh, closely uh, friendly with in a, a team or whatever, in any aspect or in any walk of life, if that person who was close to you was being uh, criticised and called out uh, in public uh, on a regular and a continuous basis. There would be someone, and I'm sure you, uh, the, any member of the public, would stand up for that person you knew if, and this is the question, if you knew or even if you thought that that what was being said about them was incorrect. So it is very, very simple that the people who know Morton and who know Cahill, and uh, we're talking here now, I think we'll have to look specifically at the Irish authorities, people like Pat Murray, um, obviously Senior Investigating Officer Mark Phillips, and then we go into those uh, slightly wider away from the Irish authorities, uh, the Irish uh, political scene, and we'll just use um, Sinn Féin Council Anson Waters here as a sort of a token as he was used by the authorities to create an alibi and uh, give some substance to Christopher Morton's lies. So here we have all these people, Waters, a friend of Christopher Morton, um, Daniel Cahill who has uh, worked closely with Pat Murray and um, Senior Investigating Officer Mark Phillips, I repeat again, they are layers, they are criminals, they are illegal immigrants and they told the tissue, a tissue of lies, made up stories and worked with the Irish authorities to create lies and make up stories to save their own lives and their livelihoods in New York and not be sent back home to Ireland and deported as they should have been because of what they faced when they came back home. Because both Cahill and Morton in particular were chased out of Ireland. We know Cahill was stabbed numerous times and told to feck off out of the country. And we know that certain members of um, organisations in Newry and County Down, uh, in Morton's hometown, asked him to leave. So nobody has come back to contradict any of this. So we have to ask the question, why? It's very, very important. Why the Irish authorities, and we will look at the media uh, shortly in the next video, but why have they, have they not come forward and stand up and say, stop, this is incorrect. Uh, Daniel Cahill is a pillar of the society. Christopher Morton is a pillar of society and has come forward to... Um, because their conscience was at them, because they knew something about the death of Detective Garda Adrian Donoghue. Nothing could be further from the truth on either of those people caring about anyone else's death. And I say that uh, without fear of contradiction. And that can be shown quite clearly. Uh, the nonsense Pat Murray spouted about people coming forward is a load of lies. Cahill was arrested after some sort of a story of hiding in an attic for six hours, caught with uh, co um, marijuana and steroids, as we have shown on numerous occasions, an illegal immigrant. Um, Morton, once again, an illegal immigrant, a criminal who uh, told lies and has asked to stay in New York and um, very questionable, uh, shall we say, uh, access to um, immigration status in New York. And all of these things have been put to you, the Irish public. They've been put out there on um, Aaron's campaign and not one word has been contradicted. Over three, way over 300 videos, 
three and a half years. Christopher Morton, you are a liar. Daniel Cahill, you are a liar. And not, neither your friends or your associates will stand up and contradict what we have said. So the question today is why? Well, it's very simple. Because their friends and their associates uh, know full well that these two men are liars. And they have told a tissue of lies. And Daniel Cahill, who was credited with um, <clears throat> being the main witness in uh, securing Aaron's conviction. Again, we have to stomach that, that someone like Daniel Cahill is responsible for our son being in prison for a crime he had nothing to do with because of the lies of people like Morton and Cahill in particular. So that's why no one will support them. That's why no one will stand up and put their head above the pulpit and say the Justice for Aaron Brady has campaign has told a lie here, has given incorrect fact here, uh, these details are wrong, uh, these issues are wrong. Because none of our issues and details and facts we put forward are wrong. So that answers today's question, why? Why no one will stand up for these two people? That's why. And it must uh, sink home to the Irish public that what we are saying is true. Otherwise, we would be admonished. We would be attacked by the mainstream media, as we will show in the next video. Uh, if the mainstream media got involved, if we were telling lies, they'd jump all over us. So that's simply it. Why? We've answered the questions because they're liars, they're cheats, they're illegal immigrants and they're in danger if they've been deported, if they're sent home. It would appear they're, they're in danger with those they were involved with before they left Ireland. As simple as that, the two lies and were part and partial of the conviction of our son Aaron for a crime he had nothing to do with.